90% of the people are living miserable lives because of one single factor, fear. If you are one of them, this video will enable you to overcome your fear and hence live a successful life. Remember, at the other side of fear exists opportunities towards your success. Let's begin. Now, what is fear? Fear is simply an emotional response that is triggered by a perceived threat or danger. The moment your senses perceive of an existing danger or threat, fear is the emotional response that is released. And this is because fear triggers or enhances or makes, makes sure adrenaline is produced. Adrenalize makes your body to be prepared to either fight or flee from the situation. So the moment you feel fear, adrenaline is produced and then you are prepared to flee or or to flee or fight the situation. But why is fear a problem? Fear is a problem because for one, it enables you or it makes you to keep on creating similar events in your life. So una feel or you feel you are stuck in this kind of loop whereby you keep on repeating the same events in your life. And this is how it works. So fear is essentially an emotion. Emotion is another word of saying energy in motion. See, the moment you have fear, your energy is in motion. And energy vibrates in energy simply vibrates in different frequencies. So emotions, there are a variety of emotions. So we have negative emotions, we have positive emotions. So the positive emotions lead to higher vibrations and the negative emotions lead to what we call lower vibrations. Now fear is one of the negative emotions. See, the moment you are feeling fear, anxiety, guilt, shame, apathy, these are negative emotions which emit lower vibrations. And emotions such as happiness, joy, courage, love, these are emotions that uh, emit higher vibrations, okay? So, the moment you are in fear, fear being a negative emotion, it gets sent out to the universe, okay? Let me repeat that. Now, you are a transmitter because you are the one who emits these emotions, okay? Because you are an energetic being and everything is simply energy. So the moment you emit this energy of fear, it gets sent out to the universal energetic field because the universe now acts as a receiver. So you emit the emotion and the universe picks up on the emotion that you emit. And then once the universe picks up your emotion, it starts to create a similar reality based on the emotions that you give it. This is how the law of vibration and the law of attraction simply works. So you emit fear. Fear is an emotion of negative or low vibration. It gets sent out to the universe. The universe picks up that uh, frequency that you sent out. It starts to create this uh, reality based on the emotion that you send and then the universe sends back to you the kind of frequency that you sent out hence you create what we call negative outcomes because fear is a negative emotion so what do you create negative outcomes hence you get what you are that is why fear leads to leads uh, makes people to live this kind of same um events into their life. That is the number one and the biggest problem that fear causes. Other, pro other problems come in the form of uh, fear acts as an obstacle. And this is how it, 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 it does this. When you are feeling fear, what simply happens is that you tend to be afraid of taking risks, uh, pursuing new opportunities, and your dreams. So it means the fear of failure makes you to stay complacent in your environment you don't want to put yourself outside your comfort zone because you fear what failure so you find that fear of failure hinders what growth so you stay in that same position that you are the other thing you find that fear of judgment okay fear can come in the form of fear of judgment you judge what other people uh, will say about what you do you have uh, you, you you really think about their opinions about you, so you fear their judgment. And the moment you fear judgment of other people, you hinder or you cripple your own creativity because you don't express yourself. 
fully. So we find that there are those parts of you that you close them up because you fear what people are going to say. And hence, you cripple your own creativity. Hence, you cannot really become your truest self beyond name and form. And then we have fear of the unknown. This also makes people to not want to go beyond their comfort zones. So all of these are problems that come from fear. And you might want to ask, what is actually the cause of fear? So fear is caused by um, imagining negative future outcomes. The moment you start to imagine future outcomes happening negatively, you feel fearful and fear starts to come up. And then that fear leads to you to create similar events into your life. It makes you stay in the same positions in your life and it makes you to really not grow at all. So the question or what you've been waiting for is this. What is the solution towards fear? There are many solutions, but I'll give you the most effective one. The solution to fear is being totally in the present moment. What do I mean by this? Now, we said that the cause of fear is when you start to imagine future outcomes happening negatively, which means you are in your mind and you are essentially in the future. You have lost touch with what is happening in this present moment, meaning you are in the future, okay? So that projection of the future creates that fear. So the only way to combat that is to cancel that uh, future projection and be in the present moment. And how do you be in the present moment? Being in the present moment means that instead of being identified with the mind or with the future projection, you now become the watcher. You become aware of what is happening. You see, the moment you become aware that you are beginning to project into the future, you enter into the present moment and that future projection gets cancelled there and then. So what you have to do is start to watch the thinker. Be aware when these thoughts come up into your mind of projecting into the future. And the moment you become aware of them, you stop giving them your attention because attention is how you project your energy. The moment you become aware of the thoughts, you don't give them your attention. And when you don't give them your attention, you will cancel or you will cancel how fear gets created. So that is the best way to combat fear. Be totally into the present moment. The other way includes practicing mindfulness meditation. So mindfulness meditation, this is whereby you focus single-handedly on one thing. So let's say you're meditating, you focus solely on your breathing. Remember, breathing always happens in the present moment. So this mindfulness meditation is also another way of taking you into the present moment. So you set your timer, you meditate for at least 15 minutes, 20, 10, you, you, you just focus all your mind, all your attention, you focus it on the breath, on the breath, on the breathing in and the breathing out. That is also another way you enter into the present moment and that is a way that can enable you to, re uh, to reduce fear, anxiety, stress and depression. Proven method by all the doctors outside there. The other thing you can do is that you can start to expose yourself in small bits in what you fear. So this means that, let's say you have what you call social anxiety. You fear approaching strangers and new people. You can start putting yourself out there in small bits because when you start facing your fears in small bits, you will find that you will become comfortable because fear only comes through feeling uncomfortable. But when you start exposing yourself into these situations, you start to feel comfortable with them and then you start to overcome your fear. And then last but not least, this is what you can do when you want to overcome fear. Always ask yourself, what is the worst that can happen? You see, when you ask yourself what is the worst that can happen, you'll find that what you are really fearing is not an actual thing. It's an imaginary thing because the worst that can actually happen is death. And if what you fear won't lead to death, it will lead to growth. Remember what we said in the beginning. Towards the other side of fear lies opportunities towards your success. So the moment you ask yourself, what is the worst that can happen? The moment you start putting yourself into those situations that are, are uncomfortable, you start to familiarize with those environments. Hence, you start to overcome your fear. The moment you start to practice mindfulness meditation, it lowers your, your thinking. It lowers uh, thinking in the terms of um, the more you are in your mind, 
the more you start to project into the future or into the past, which means you lose touch of the present moment. So the more you practice mindfulness meditation, you reduce the, le- the amount of thoughts or projection of the future that pops up into your head. So it means you are in the present moment, which means you won't create fear anymore. And final and last but not least, like I said, being in the present moment, which means you become aware when the mind is starting to project into the future and canceling it all out in that same moment. So that is simply how you overcome fear. And this is something which I want you to do, not for a day, not for a week, but not for a month, not for a year. Make it your kind of lifestyle. Make it something which you live doing. And by that, you will see that fear will be non-existent for you. And this goes beyond. I'm talking about fear of the unknown, fear of the dead, fear of anything. You will feel truly at peace. So if you found a value from this video, please don't forget to leave a like because it helps with the algorithm and sends this video to other uh, viewers. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more and exclusive content. And if you want to learn much more about how to navigate toward, toward your spiritual self, consider watching this video. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay awake.